<laughs> I got it up and running. Oh my god. What a friggin' nightmare this thing was. First off, somebody's hooked it up backwards and the dial was blown. Where's that at? <laughs> and so I put two 1440s, uh, 455s in it. And, uh,. I figured that's what it had in it. Oh, the thing didn't work. It's like still not working. Oh, I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm looking at this relay right here. And I'm like, that don't look like the relay the game in it. <laughs> Got a bunch of the top legs cut off. And it looks like it's being glued down at one time to something. So it looks like if somebody attempted to put a relay in here and uh, and didn't work out very well. So, <laughs> so I just went on ahead and put a little relay in there. I bypass all this crap right here. Uh, that was a high, low, medium, just for the very reason that it doesn't have to switch on it anymore, and it didn't feel very good, so I just eliminated it. So they had a big, long piece of metal going from here to here, and then it went down here, and, uh... I just put a piece of wire in there. Did it from here to there. No big deal. Well, this thing does not have any kind of output capacitance on it. Ha! None. Uh, this is they're feeding the relay with this right here. These caps and uh so I guess they're keeping the RF off of it because none of that's going to the output capacitance. So anyway. Let's stuck the relay in there. Got rid of that stupid blown diode. As you can see, typical, typical, typical. Huh. CB radio wire on here or something. Hell, I don't know what it is. Um, <coughs> so anyway, the cap they had from here wouldn't fit here anymore, so, oh well. And this is the keying circuit right here, and that's where it hits ground. Got one of them old-timey aluminum transistors in it, and can transistor. Still works, though. And when I fired it up, uh want to make sure the relay was clicking well the relay was clicking but <clears throat> that son of a bit son of a gun was hooked up wrong so this was already on here it may be factory I don't know I'm just gonna leave it there it's working fine so then I had a bad input issue oh my god so I took the uh, 120 off that they had in there. I put a 50 in there. Brought it down a lot. When I added a hundred ohm to it, brought it down pretty damn good. <laughs> oh Lord. Input two. Hello, 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 hello. It's a half a watt. But you know what? That's better than the uh, two and a half watts it was. <clears throat> now, when I put this 100 ohm in here, I lost 15 watts. No big deal. Oh, 14 volts. It was 13.8 not long ago. Here's Andrew. Hello, 
Ooh, that's a powerhouse. <laughs> anyway, here's the watts. We are on a 500 watt scale, which is the middle scale. The 10 is a 100, and in between the 10 and 20 is 50. Audio, hello, audio, 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 audio. I've lost 15 watts. I was getting 150 out of it. But still, it's only grade 100. I don't want to turn the volts up on it because it is only uh, 455s in here. It appears it never had any 120s or anything. Going from the collector to ground. None of that, so... Oh well, it is working. And it had a, the relay was wanting to disengage. Even though I added capacitors here to begin with before I did this, it's wanting to disengage. So I'm thinking that like, and I've ran into this before, sometimes I've had to add just a little bit of electrolytic capacitance to the relay to keep it locked in. Um, now, it was doing it when it powered up also, so... I'm thinking that maybe it being run, the power being run from the output transformer to there may have been the problem. But the thing is, when I put it in single sideband, problem gone. Okay. So I just took and made it single sideband all the time. <laughs> Quick, easy, simple solution. Uh, Alright, so... Where is the top to this thing? Um, 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 oh, there it is. It does have a top. It is filthy and I ain't cleaning it up. Just another giveaway. Now this one here, I'm going to put some 455s in here also. Um, this one isn't keying up. It has no output cap on the transformer uh, it looks like it had something here at one time a cap um, other than that it looks like it's intact and once again we have a black wire for positive and a black wire for negative although they did put an orange wire with tape on it ingenuity at its finest I can't say nothing because hell I've done that before a long time ago too so you know as long as you know what color it is it really don't matter um but it's not keying up so I see where positive is and I see where negative is and there's negative right there on the relay I'm just gonna make a keying circuit and put it in there and uh tap it off of here and booyah it will key up I ain't even gonna mess with this crap um so if I get it keying up then there's hope and I'll get this TX65 run 75 running now if I put two 455s in here it's basically the same thing as this one uh, as far as transformers this one has three turns and three turns. Pretty big wire. This one here has three turns and three turns. So basically these two should do the same watts. Uh, when I put some 455 there. What is this? A single side band delay. I may just try and throw a, I don't feel like messing with that crap. Easy for me just make up a little bitty uh, key and circuit and uh, just put the key and circuit on it.
Let's see if we can get this one here going too. It does have a top also. So, 73s y'all. The gray 100 lives again. It is brought back from the grave. And somebody will enjoy it. It's about like that Texas Star Modulator. Let's see what it's dead to you. takes a star modulator with HG in it. Oh, but it should. It's a two pill. <laughs> but it's only 455, so that's it. That's all she do. That's all I'm doing to it. And uh, I'll slap the top on this thing and we'll let it rock. All right, now I'm going to take me a nap and uh, I got to clean up in here. It is just a Terrible, 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 terrible situation here. Man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Ten threes, y'all. Take care. Alley Cat, Cell Block 6, Alley Cat Town, Alabama, and Fat Cat Amps, and I'm gone.